आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ नेशन India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of this struggle every day. In today's episode, we remember eminent freedom fighter Gopal Krishna Gokhale, who was born on the 9th of May 1866. A moderate political leader and a social reformer, Gokhale was a senior leader of the Indian National Congress and the founder of the Servants of India Society. Gokhale was famously a mentor to Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi ji recognized Gokhale as an admirable leader and master politician, describing him as pure as crystal, gentle as a lamb, brave as a lion, and chivalrous to a fault, and the most perfect man in the political field. Recalling his first meeting with Gokhale in Pune on October the 12th, 1896, Gandhi ji wrote, I met Gokhale I found him on the Ferguson College grounds. Gopal Krishna Gokhale gave me an affectionate welcome and his manner immediately won my heart. With him this was my first meeting and yet it seemed as though we were renewing an old friendship. So Feroz Shah had seemed to me like the Himalaya, the Lokmanya like the ocean, but Gokhale was as the Ganges. One could have a refreshing bath in the holy river. The Himalaya was unscalable. and one could not easily launch forth on the sea but the ganges invited one to its bosom it was a joy to be on it with a boat and an oar gokhale closely examined me as a schoolmaster would examine a candidate seeking admission to a school he told me whom to approach and how to approach them he asked to have a look at my speech he assured me that he was always at my disposal and sent me away exultantly happy in the sphere of politics the place that gokhale occupied in my heart during his lifetime and occupies even now was and is absolutely unique gopal krishna gokhale died on the 19th of february 1915 we salute this great nationalist We also remember activist for Indians in South Africa Bhavani Dayal Sanyasi who died on the 9th of May 1950. He was the editor of various India related newsletters such as The Pravasi and collaborated with Mahatma Gandhi and represented the South African Indians at the Indian National Congress. He was also active in the Arya Samaj. <laughs> Bhavani Dayal came from a family that had moved from Ara district Bihar as indentured laborers to South Africa. His parents Babu Jairam Singh and Mohini Devi became free citizens in 1884 and settled in Johannesburg where Dayal was born. Dayal joined Gandhi ji in the passive resistance movement of 1913. In 1919 he represented the South African Indians at the Amritsar session of the Indian National Congress. Dayal founded a journal called Hindi and protested a British plan in 1921 to repatriate Indians to British Guyana. Dayal founded a Pravasi Bhavan in his home village at Bahuara Bihar with a library and school in 1926-27. In 1930 he took part in the Salt Satyagraha in India and on March 29th he was booked for seditious speeches including those delivered by him in Fiji in 1932 he went back to South Africa Bhavani Dayal continued to work for the betterment of people till his death in 1950 we salute the great patriot sharma se in ko yag ma se jaati na chetan abodi samla ha ma se unange chetan We remember independence activists Narayan Murmu, Baju Murmu, and Bedanath Tudu, who were arrested on the 9th of May 1943 for taking part in the Quit India movement. The three were residents of village Dumaria, Santhal Parganas, Jharkhand, and also took part in the Lati Pahad agitation. They died during their internment. We salute the great martyrs. Bande.
And that brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh,